Dear members and friends, it was a little more than 15 months ago now that we entered this season of pandemic, and I chose at the time to call this period in the life of our congregation unordinary time. Well, we're not quite out of unordinary time yet, but we're moving towards more of a sense of normalcy. And so because of the changes that have occurred in uh, our community and our nation and throughout the world, um, we are going to move back into the sanctuary, uh, but not quite to the point where we were prior to the pandemic. So I wanted to share with you what that will look like and what we have to look forward to. But first, just a reminder of the things that have not changed. COVID-19 is still an airborne disease transmitted through respiratory droplets. The best medical practices for public safety and health addressing both contracting and transmitting COVID-19 are to continue wearing face masks, practice social distancing, and washing hands often. What has changed is that the risk of either contracting or transmitting the disease and getting seriously ill and hospitalized is greatly reduced by vaccination, such that now gatherings of fully vaccinated people indoor and outdoor have been approved by the CDC. In Pennsylvania, mitigation orders except masking were lifted on Memorial Day, and the current order requiring Pennsylvanians to wear masks will be lifted when 70% of Pennsylvanians age 18 and older are fully vaccinated. The date provided by the Pennsylvania Health Department when it is estimated we will reach 70% is June 28th, just a few weeks away. Children under 12 will be the last category of individuals to be vaccinated, possibly by September or in the fall. So the session, in an effort to be supportive of our parents and families with young children, is requiring that masks continue to be worn uh, when in the presence of children under 12, until all younger children are given the opportunity to receive the vaccine. Our hope and our prayer is to return to full capacity in the sanctuary and to return to a new normal by Rally Day on Sunday, September 12th. All that said, in our continuing efforts to consider the risk to individuals, families, and to our community of faith, the following policy will be followed during the summer months at Wallingford Presbyterian Church. Masks are to be worn by everyone attending worship and worn throughout the service. Seating will be every other pew, with a maximum occupancy of 80 worshipers. And reservations need to be made through the church office. We also ask that worshipers come into the sanctuary using the courtyard doors. Service will last no longer than 45 minutes and the order of worship will be designed so that hymns are sung at the end of the worship service to minimize accumulated aerosol exposure. There will be no fellowship hour in the fellowship hall, but people are free to congregate outside the sanctuary and visit in the courtyard. This service, this live service, will be recorded and posted on and uploaded on YouTube that week. We will revisit uh, these rules and regulations uh, in July, in mid-July, uh, and um, make any applicable changes based on the newest information available from the state of Pennsylvania and the CDC. Because many of you have asked me about uh, meeting inside the church, here is what the session has decided. Low physical impact gatherings of small church groups a fully vaccinated church members will be permitted. Meetings should be for one hour or less, and the, the building will remain closed for use by any and all outside groups. As I mentioned, we will revisit this again in July, and should 
uh, there be new information that would lead us to change these regulations, we will be happy to do so. My friends, you've been incredibly patient. You've been amazingly supportive. You've been truly kind to one another. And we have acted at these past 15 months as a true community of faith. I ask that you just hang in there for a little while longer until we can make sure that everyone can be safe as we return to a new sense of normalcy. Trust in the promises of the Lord. Jesus walks with us, as I mention every, almost every Sunday, with every breath we take. We will make it through this. Stay healthy, and I'll see you in church.